Hey guys, Commander Alex here, and in today's episode of Let's Play Bangori, we're talking about Taka. Alright, so Taka is a really, really cool champion, and basically, uh, the first thing that you need to know about him is that he actually has a crit hit ability. So this is his passive, and what it does is it gives him more crit hits, and those crit hits give him health back and speed back. Also, as uh, time goes on, he uses more abilities. Those abilities will stack onto his crits, and he will get more and more crits, and therefore, um, kind of like a faster ability to power down an opponent. So right here is a really great example of that. What's going to happen right here is uh, basically he starts off kind of slow probably wouldn't be able to take out this minion mines without his crits but as he uses his abilities um, he actually gets more and more crit hits and they come on faster and faster and that health that comes back to him from the crits actually allow him to sustain and take out this gold mine even though if he didn't have that passive he probably wouldn't be able to so really cool ability and definitely a useful one to have also you don't need to upgrade it and you don't need to buy it so it's uh, really a nice thing to have and you start off with it in the beginning of the game next thing you need to know is katen now katen is uh, basically his damage upgrade kind of thing it's uh it allows him to damage units by jumping over them and hitting them in midair a really cool thing about this is that he doesn't take damage while he's in midair so if you think that uh someone's about to pull like a really really strong ultimate on you you can pull katian out and uh, he won't actually take damage so really nice and i think that even applies to turret damage though i'm not sure all right so we can watch some gameplay now and uh, see what katian is all about so right here basically katian is going to allow him to take down this uh this minion mine right here and what happens is just the pure damage output is uh, what allows him to do it because he doesn't have that much base damage and his uh, other abilities except for his ultimate don't really have a lot of damage as well now Kaku is the big ability of him it doesn't actually add any damage to him or do anything but it does allow him to go invisible this is a really cool ability and it's the first one in the game it's basically stealth and uh, it can be revealed by turrets by scout traps and flare guns so uh, we're gonna take a look at how that works and uh, how you can probably Probably use it in lane or if you're in the jungle and being chased by someone so let's uh, hop into the gameplay here and see what it's all about so right here basically what I was doing was I was behind the turret trying to take it out and uh, this minion wave came in and I wanted to get away so I popped my ability they started to ignore me and I got away without having to worry about fighting them and uh, possibly taking some hits from the turret so with this final ultimate ability, it's X Retsu, and it takes 50% of the health of anyone it attacks, and it does do damage over time, which is a fairly good amount of damage as well. So this one's really great for initiating battles, and uh, really nice for in team fights if you want to uh, initiate something there. It also has a really, really high crystal ratio, so uh, by upgrading your crystal abilities and uh, your crystal power, you're actually going to be able to really just power down opponents uh, with ease. So we can check out some gameplay of this, and that's going to wrap up the video. Alright, so here we are, and it looks like to attack him, he's going to use his ultimate right there. That's going to take him down a ton of health, and uh, now we can use our other abilities to clean up. So really a nice ability, and great for initiating battles. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.